Hey everybody, John Ludi here. K-O-H-N, L-U-D-I dot com. And, uh, <laughs> while talking to several people at the, uh, at the new Herbal Cooperative store at the Lumpy Fortney Hotel, uh, in Viroqua, uh, Wisconsin, <clears throat> the name Decorah, Iowa kept coming up as it has been coming up in my, uh, life over the past several weeks, I decided on a whim to drive to Decorah, Iowa to see what Decorah, Iowa is all about. So, uh, <laughs> so I will make a record of this if there are fun things I discover there or on the way. So, would that be nice? Uh, see you soon. Just wanted to note the, uh, usual freakishly beautiful, uh, scenery, driving, on 82 West to Decorah. Uh, just all these rolling hills and um, rock outcroppings and pickup trucks with their grills half missing and mailboxes. Uh, that's an impressive one right there. Look at that. Um, so, yeah, I just want to point that out. Uh, and uh, I'll be back. I just passed this little town called uh, Walk On. See? Look at that. Walk on. They have a bank. Um, kind of nifty little tourist trappy place. It's not my destination, so I'm not going to check it out. But I might at some point. Had like some cool looking stores and stuff. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so that's my impression of walk on. Uh, and now I'm going to drive on. So I'm uh, here I am in uh, Decorah. Um, entering Decora, the the city, just for <laughs> clarification purposes, um, and uh, kind of nondescript, kind of like your you know typical Midwest sort of city, uh, and uh, entering the business district, where I hope to find uh, a boundless cornucopia of adventure and novelty. Um, uh, we'll see. Huh. All right, Pilates and Wellness Center. So there's some stuff kind of going on. And here I'm just going to uh, park here by Mr. Groovy's. No kidding. Mr. Mr. Groovy's. Uh, and I'm just going to like walk around and check stuff out. So yeah, if I see anything, I'll, I'll shoot it for you. I think I'm going to look up where the um, where the co-op is because I do believe that there is a co-op, and you gotta go to the co-op. Why the hell wouldn't you? That's what we're here for. Go to the freaking co-op. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna find out where the co-op is and we're gonna go to it. So out and about in Decora, and uh, I would have to say this uh, appears to be a fairly prosperous town. Um, it doesn't, you know, not seeing too many businesses that are closed or anything like that. Um, looks kind of nice to me. I will see several of the stores appear to close at about five, so you probably want to come here a little bit earlier than I did. And uh, here we are at the co-op, and uh, it's open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m., to 8.30 p.m. Sunday from 10 till 7. And uh, so I'm going to pop in there in a couple minutes, but because you have to go to the co-op. What the hell is wrong with you that you don't want to go to the co-op? Um, but looking at this, um, you know, getting the impression that it's kind of uh, Middle America-esque, not, uh, not nearly as... Uh, uh, progressive green feel as our Viroqua and uh, immediate environs, but you know, it seems nice, so I'm going to go into the co-op and uh, give it a look-see. So, the co-op in Decorah is a little bit larger than our co-op in Viroqua, definitely larger than the one in Gaze Mills. Uh, it's this really, uh, really tasty ginger granola. 
and now I'm going to talk like without my mouth full. Um, I would say the prices are about the same as uh, the other co-ops, and uh, selection a little bit larger just by virtue of the size. The atmosphere, I would say, was a lot more subdued than our co-op in uh, Viroqua. Uh, friendly, uh, there was a woman working there, a cashier that turned me on to the local free paper, magazine, and then there, the co-op's own publication, and told me there was some probably free music going on tonight, uh, which is cool, because that's uh, what I'm about, music and free. Um, and there's a couple coffee shops that people hang out at, one called Magpies that I'm about to go check out. Um, one thing I'm going to say about this town is it, um, it's very clean. It's a very well-kept up town, I have to say. I mean, I, um, it's, you'd be hard-pressed to find any litter around here. It's really, um, it's really nice, actually, but, um, but I would say it just, you know, it kind of doesn't have the, uh, charming eccentricity of, uh, of our, our Driftless region. Um, which I've come to uh, find incredibly endearing. Um, so, that's it so far. I'm going to have to say, if there was ever a town where you could wake up in a gutter with your wallet missing, half blind from being drunk, and wearing some stranger's panties, it's probably not going to be the car, really. Um, I, <laughs> I just don't think that happens here. Though, I detect beneath the surface a seamy side. Some hidden kind of, I forget it. No, I just, <laughs> I, don't, I think this would be a really, really difficult town to get in trouble in. Uh, it's just, look at this. I mean, you know, kind of the... Uh, the historic district walking through here. Uh, and again, clean, so clean. Look at that, this is a sidewalk. I dare you, and it's a little old gum and stuff and garbage, none. Look at this. They must have like some strange army of elves or something that comes out in the middle of the night and cleans up all the crap. Um, but yeah, it was just really benign. Uh, kind of town. Not hugely busy out here either. Not a lot of, not a lot of foot traffic on a Friday. Um, so, um, I don't know, you know. Definitely not the kind of place where you're going to just stand on the street corner and get solicited by a, uh, transvestite hooker or anything. So, not the kind of town I'm used to. But, uh, pretty though, I have to say. It's a very lovely, lovely town. So, there it is. Uh, more to come. So I just uh, finished a nice little sandwich and some pasta and bean salad at this magpie uh, coffee place and uh, liked it. Had good conversation with the people who worked there and a guy that was sitting next to me who also uh, spent time in the Chicago area. Uh, you know, benign. Benign area. Um, you know, really quiet, churchy. Uh, there's something about this town that makes me want to just, like, <laughs> buy, like, 10000 you know, dollars worth of toilet paper and TP the entire town, <laughs> because that's just kind of how I am. But, uh, no, it is a, it's a lovely little town here. Um, and uh, I feel like the property values are plummeting just by me walking down the street. But um, I guess that's just... <laughs> My, my problem with my self-image. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's about it. I think I might, uh, I don't know, it's a toss-up between going to uh, check out a bar uh, or uh, just going back to my yurt. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a few. So I've uh, decided, after careful consideration, that I'm just going to uh, head back home to my little round dwelling in the woods, in the grove. Uh, looked at some of the bars on the main drag, and I'm not much of a drinker, so I don't really belong in bars anyway. 
but um, mainly just kind of just fighting this urge to walk up to random strangers and ask them, do you people ever have sex? I mean, ever? Really? Here? In this town? Um, so, <laughs> don't want to do that. Um, so, I think I'm just going to head home, because I really feel like, I don't know, foul and corrupt walking around here. Principally because I'm foul and corrupt, but it really is very clean here. And uh, I'm just not used to it. I want to do things. Um, so, I'm uh, headed home, and if I get into any mischief on the way, I will uh, report that. Uh, I may stop in that funky little town on the way back if there is anything that that funky little town offers. So, uh, if not, uh, love you, and see you all soon. Bye. I do want to say uh, one thing that, something that I noticed on the way out to Decorah, that I have noticed again on the way back, um, a potential hazard, something, something very potentially, extremely dangerous. Someone, conceivably, could, uh, could impale themselves on one of these horns. So it's not all benign, all right? Um, something should be done to protect the children of Iowa against this incredible, incredible threat. That's my moral soapboxing for now. Take heed, Iowa.